Chang Hong from Lima Setia 2020. She want to explain about button pendulum. All right. This is I'm not sure this is A B C D E F these two pendulum bolts are in the same blade. I take from the side view. The yeah, natural frequency understand and then this is the pulse frequency. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, in buttons pendulum, you have how many pendulum? There are more, a lot of pendulum, but there are two pendulum with the same. The same length. So when the uh, uh, Chang Hong, can, can you can you make everything uh, stationary first? Right. Point to uh, pendulum A, B, C, D. Which one is A? A, B, B, C, D, and then E and F. Okay. Which one have the same length? Point. Okay. Pendulum. Which pendulum? B and D. Po point. Can you point? B and B and D. Is it the same length? Nearly the same length. Alright, so when you, you pull B, so what happened? Try pull B, okay, and release. Okay, when when you pull pendulum B, you can see that all other pendulum start start oscillate. Alright, so all other pendulum start oscillate, showing that something is being transfer, uh, transferred. What is it? What is it? The energy is being transferred through the string, right? And all other pendulums start vibrate. And there is one pendulum that is special. It oscillates with maximum amplitude, yes. So, uh, in this system, a class, when the pendulum has same length, so it means that the frequency will be the same. Actually, they have same period of oscillation. Hence, the, the frequency will be the same. So, if like this, so we can say that pendulum D okay, has its own natural frequency. When the system is forced to oscillate with the frequency of pendulum D, so you can see that pendulum, pendulum D vibrate with maximum amplitude. So, we can say that the system is having, having resonance. Alright? Okay, that's it.